Hey there, it's Waste of Potential, 616 back again. Um, oh, still no comic reviews, unfortunately. Um, I've, uh, my foot, oh, I've still got problems with my foot. I've been to the doctors today. Uh, he's, he seems to think it's something different from what they said in A and E. I have to go to another hospital to get an X ray, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, forget about all of that. <laughs> I'm going to talk some comics. Uh, even though I don't have any new ones, I just thought this would be a good opportunity to maybe talk about the um, the Avengers versus X Men crossover. Um, you know, the next big Marvel crossover, which um, I am I am really looking forward to. I really am. Um, but um, wow, there are certainly uh, some issues, no pun intended, to address now. Um, it's uh, there's going to be a few writers involved. Um, I've even written it down. Uh, we've got Bendis and Aaron, who are uh, sort of in control of of it all. But uh, we've got uh, Fraction, Drew Baker, and Hickman um, writing as well. Um, and I think it's you know Bendis and Aaron are sort of overall in charge. Um, could this be a case of uh, too many cooks in the kitchen? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, it could it could be you know an amazing combination. Um, the only thing that worries me a little bit it reminds me of a um uh, da -da 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 -da, a series called well the series itself doesn't remind me but the situation there was a crossover t between the Ultimate Marvel Universe and the Supreme how oh, oh, Supreme Supreme Power universe, and it was called Ultimate Power. It had Straczynski, Bendis, and Jeff Loeb writing it, and each writer had a, a bit of the series, and it was a mess. It didn't really work. Now, I don't think that's going to happen with uh, Avengers vs. X Men, but it is a concern. Anyway, um, as for the writers themselves, um, I'm loving Aaron's work um, on Wolverine and the X-Men at the moment. I think he's doing an amazing job. I really do. I like his stuff on Wolverine as well. Um, and just the direction he's taken Wolverine and the X-Men is just, you know, it's uh, just a lot of fun. Anyway, I've, I've, I've already spoken about it in the past. Um, Fraction and Brubaker, I, I've liked some of their stories. I think they're a very, they're accomplished writers. I'm just not hu a, a hu huge fan of theirs, and I wasn't a big fan of Fear itself. I thought that was a very big letdown. Um, as for Hickman, I'm love, I love his Fantastic Four stuff. Um, I enjoy, I'm enjoying the Shield miniseries, maxi series. But it is starting to, it has the potential to be really good or completely fail, you know. But anyway, the Fantastic Four stuff and the uh, Future Foundation stuff he's doing, I think is brilliant, so I'm glad he's involved. Bendis, I've always had a, a mixed view on him. Uh, he has the, he's done some very good stuff. Um, but he's not without his flaws. I feel he's kind of um, had too much time on the Avengers, and uh, you know some of his Avengers stories have been okay, and some of them haven't. And uh, you know, I mean, I could just say the basic, um, you know, issues people have with Bendis. You know. Overly long dialogue, not a lot enough going on. Um, you know, I don't necessarily agree with sort of accusations of, of sexism and some of the more harsher criticisms. Um, I just think he's dominated the Avengers for far too long, and I think it's good. It'll be good for someone else to take on the reins of that. I mean, I have enjoyed some of his work. I did like the Dark Avengers stuff. Anyway, um, the artists. This is something I'm very excited about. We've got John Romita Jr., who I know a lot of people don't like his artwork. 
Um, but I know a lot of people do, and I am in the latter camp. I think his artwork is brilliant. Um, from his older stuff, his more recent stuff, I just, I love, uh, you know, his, his old work in, uh, Sp his older Spider-Man stuff, and older stuff in X-Men, to his more recent stuff, uh, his recent stuff in Spider-Man. Uh, he did a good run of Wolverine, um, uh, with Mark Millar. Um, then we've got uh, Oliver uh, Capel, um, who you know did Young Avengers uh, among other stuff. Um, but I loved his Young Avengers stuff. Um, you know he's also did, did here, here um, Avengers uh, Children's Crusade, which is an amazing series. I cannot uh, uh, praise that enough. And then we've got. Adam Cuba, who I have always loved his artwork, just brilliant, you know, as a Wolverine fan, he's done a lot of cool Wolverine and X-Men stuff, so, that's really cool. Um, now, I want to talk about the Avengers Children's Crusade, again, I haven't read the last issue yet, but so far, it's been brilliant. Alan Heimberg has done a great job on it, he really has, and it's actually that series that's kind of giving me hope again for big Marvel crossovers. Now while it wasn't a crossover per se, it was, it was like a maxi series, um, but mini maxi series, and, you know, it was, it was like nine issues or eight issues, I can't remember. But basically it, it was a big, big sweeping story with various teams, you know, it had uh, the X-Men, uh, the Avengers, obviously the Young Avengers, even had X Factor in it, loads of characters, Doctor Doom, Magneto, uh, big sweeping epic story that also managed to concentrate on characters and character relationships. And, uh, you know, if Marvel is still capable of producing stories like that, then I think this crossover uh, could be, has the potential to be amazing, I really do. You know, I mean, um, uh, I mean, Bendis, you know, may, he can, he can do characters, he really can. You know, he can do good, uh, natural conversations. And maybe Aaron can sort of harness that and maybe, um, have more exciting things going on r around these stories. Um, so, you know, I'm excited on that front. Anyway, um, because I, I'm not very good at, I can't really edit videos and I have to keep them all under 10 minutes, I think I'm going to stop there for a second and then I'll be back with part two. Okay, bye.